It's Anuki TV! Yeah, and I'm so tired! Oh, I've been up all night. I've had like a few miniature one minute sleeps, that's about it. But I've been waiting for this moment to cast a game where like the people in this house go out and chew and do whatever they want to do. So I can do this game. So I'm not at peak performance. I'm going to be slurring my words like crazy. I'm going to be mispronouncing absolutely everything but we're gonna see how it goes and hopefully it goes fairly okay so this is Magekian's War this is Company of Heroes and it's a 2v2 we have Go Pepsi live already built his barracks already sending his engineers off to do their dirty bidding and capturing some munitions and points and even teaming up with his friends engineers uh, General Dodo or Gen Dodo I'm fairly certain that Gen Dodo is gonna mean general just seems logical to me so he's purple Pepsi's blue I like Pepsi being blue that's gonna make things a lot easier for this game uh, pioneers out capturing this munitions point and this munitions point and this munitions point so triple munition point gapping from lucky stilette as the orange of Wehrmacht player and he has got another pioneer squad so pretty pioneer spammy tactic so far but he's getting that Wehrmacht quarters up uh, in the middle of the road, not the best place to build it. Well, okay, yeah, it is. Like, you want to be building stuff like near the borders, that's good, but it's not pretty. It's just not a pretty base. And pretty bases are important. Just having a nice, well thought out, organized base is going to win you the game. Surely, surely. So, our final red player. Let's not forget him, Anuki. Not forget the, all the players. Sturm Tiger Ost. And he's not engaged in any combat so far. He does have some Volks out. He's capping. Uh, more capping. Capping because early game is where all the capping seems to happen. Uh, at least for the first two minutes of the game. And then we get some good combat going. We've got Rifleman hanging out behind the Tree of Life. The Tree of Life giving them heavy cover. That's exactly uh, what it should be doing. We have sandbags going down in not the right correct direction but it doesn't really matter as long as they get that heavy cover and they don't seem to be getting that heavy cover it's not popping the shield up uh, so maybe they should have done that but they are continuing to cap and they are bringing in the double rifleman to send lucky stilettes pioneers away and uh down at this fuel point we have engineer on pioneer hot action hot 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 oh yeah steaming it's not actually that good and wow look at the blood over here what is that is that like mutated cow flop sided Patty burger blood stain out of that. Whatever it is, it doesn't really matter because we have double Volks out for Sturm Tiger Ost versus General Dodo's double rifleman. And he's, oh, he's bringing up the engineers. That's cheating. Uh, in fact, that's Pepsi Live. In fact, oh, we do have both players here fighting for the central victory point. They do manage to cap it and they're going to hide behind this building away from the Volks who are taking cover, heavy cover behind this burnt out wrecked van which is still on fire and is probably going to be from fire and die game Smoggy, hello Smoggy! Uh, I think this is a stream going live at the moment because that's what people do, they whisper people on streams and get attention and like, oh look at me, I'm so cool! Yes, of course you are, of course you are Smoggy, you are cool. Uh, MG in this building, it's got a check the window out on that angle because it's pretty important to know where your windows are on buildings now that has pretty good coverage over there so kind of neat uh engagements on the left hand victory point with just more pioneers and engineers uh engineers capturing the points still resuming the passive aggressive warfare uh, neato stuff a huge blob of vaults in the middle they're pressing no, they're unpressing, they're going back, back into the shadows I hide. To get it, they want to boot. Oh, zombie grenadiers! Oh, we're going to see some zombie grenadiers. I like zombie grenadiers. They are the infamous awesome tactic of, uh, basically, for anyone that doesn't know this, we get a load of Volks out. We have early grenades, by the way, from General Dodo. We get a ton of Volks out, and Volks are like, ah, I'm, ah, I'm dying, ah, I'm a Volks, that's what I do, because they're just so crap. Apparently, I, I love Volks, I think they're... Really good long range heavy cover, but everyone says they're pretty crap. Uh, so they die easily, and then medics bring them back to the medic bunker. And then you get grenadiers. Uh, you get five bodies into the bunker, and you get like the grenadier squad out, and it's just super awesome. And you keep doing that. You keep reinforcing the Volks, which are a lot cheaper to reinforce 
than grenadiers, and then you get a grenadier squad. So that's that's neat. That's that's the kind of stuff I like to see. We even have a four folk squad out. So this is pure all-in zombie grenadier tactics here. And Nido, thank you. This is a user-submitted replay, by the way. And uh, this is the kind of stuff I want to see. I think I mentioned in the last cast that I did all the kind of neato stuff I do want to see. <laughs> General Dodo coming around this bush and saying, you can't hide from me, MG. Lucky Stilette. Uh, getting the plus one veterancy upgrade for his support weapons. Uh, as this giant blob from Pepsi uh, just kind of walks right behind the bunker. And Dodo is also supporting. This is the most sandwiched ever Volks Grenadier squad. Uh, both Volks Grenadiers there. Don't lose rifles, own them. Yeah, words of encouragement from Smoggy. That's exactly what we need. Yeah, capping the fuel point. The riflemen are hanging back with their bar upgrades. So we had a tech split. Neat stuff happening here with the teamwork. We have a tech split. So one guy went bars, the other guy went grenades. And they're going to live in harmony and hopefully be able to negotiate some peace right into the faces of the Axis. Really. Pieces of shrapnel. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Machine guns uh, hanging back here, now suppressing these squads. Uh, <laughs> triple, oh, triple flamethrowers on the Pioneers. But he mass retreats absolutely everything. Everything's got to get out of there. And the Volks from Sturm Tiger Ost is going to have to work extremely hard to repel the bars on this one. And notice that these munition points have been captured at some point. And uh, this is being recaptured. Always, always remember the capturing on the map. Uh, Pioneers are really good at that. And hopefully if you retreat them fast enough, you don't lose them, then you can just go back out and try to capture stuff again. So, the Medic Bunker so far hasn't managed to get any casualties. And the Volks are not dying like the cowards they should be, so there's no bodies to pick up for the medics, which have died, by the way. There's no medics in sight around here uh, at all. So Pepsi Live and Dodo have been killing medics. That's a good thing to do. If you can, if you see a medic, shoot it. They die easily uh, since the last patch. Vet 2 on the flamethrowers now for Lucky Stilette, and they're going to bring down the pain on all of these riflemen. And uh, they're not... Oh god, that counts as heavy cover. What? That's not heavy cover. That is taking into account the wrong directional heavy cover. No heavy cover bonus for them. So I don't believe they take any extra damage from flamethrowers. So they kind of got away. Luckily there. Luckily, I'd say. But this rifleman squad really Pepsi lives. There we go. He hits the retreat button, which is good. He takes two casualties on his way out. Uh, maybe going to see a fourth one as this guy lags behind. He's doing some fancy footwork, but it's it's saving him good. At this point, needs to be captured. Uh, bike over here, doing some scouting, kind of pioneers capping, blah, 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 blah. blah. And so far, everyone's kind of disengaged. Oh, we have some firing over here. Some leftover rifleman from General Dodo as he chucks a grenade onto a Volk squad. Look, uh, not the least, like, Sturm Tiger throws his guns up in the air and is like, wow, ah, oh, grenade, that was fantastic. And those guys hit the deck and fancy posing here. Paint me like one of your French girls. Okay, not quite as good as that. So, Volk's shooing away the rifleman. Uh, we kind of have, like, just checking the tactical map. Uh, most of the forces for the Allies right now are just either pretty dead, weak as turnips, or in the base. Uh, oh, oh, whoa, 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 this is a tank depot. Hello, and it's only eight minutes in the game. Just gone nine minutes. That's a very, very fast tank depot. Uh, as for his teammates, he won't have anything fast like that because he did get the bar upgrades, which are a lot more expensive. Uh, so the riflemen are now moving out, but it's ultimately how you use these riflemen uh, which is going to thwart the Axis plan right now because they have uh, the fancy bunkers up. They're going to be capitalizing on any defenses. Uh, assault on their defenses. We have a machine gun here uh, still posted, which means the riflemen can't move around this side. To be flanked, the pioneers from Lucky Stilette, he spread them out and quite nicely. So he's going to be able to react fast to any sort of engagements from the riflemen. The riflemen, one squad of riflemen pop up through this hole in the fence. Another is coming down the main road. Uh, good job he's splitting up. And notice that he's pulled back his other riflemen, other two riflemen squads. He's not going to move. No, no, he is going to move them in together. I thought he was going to do some wave attacking over on this side of the map. Though we have 
Uh, a bike engaging engineers, and it looks like that engineer squad has gone down. Back into the middle, though. The flame pioneers coming up on the flank. They have turned. Oh, 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 oh. oh, it's hot. It's hot today. So hot. All the words in my mind are hot. That's that's the only hot word I can think of. This is how I tired I am. I'm sorry. Again, this point. Capture it. Capture it now. Sniper out on the field. Uh, with his bodyguards. All of the bodyguards. <laughs> it really does look like an escort there. Um, interestingly enough, there's more capturing going down on this side of the map. They want to deny that fuel. And we have a bike reacting to that, so... I think the bike might be able to win that one. Uh, depends. Uh, just purely because they're capturing, so it'll take an increased damage. Uh, that's the only reason why I say that. Uh, Rifleman from General Dodo. Still no bar upgrades for them. That was a fantastic grenade! You could not get any better than that. It's just a shame that Lucky Stilette saw that coming two years before it actually happened and moved out of the way. But, you know, uh, that was pure luck on Lucky Stilette's behalf. General Dodo, uh, just unfortunate on that one. He's being sniped by Lucky Stilette. Seven kills for the sniper. Nothing to worry about so far. Uh... Rifleman again from Pepsi Live. They did a mass retreat. They're coming back in force. Uh, again, is he going to charge down in the middle? We have a bunker going up in the middle again. I'm not sure if this is going to be a machine gun bunker or a repair bun bunker or a madman bunker. I'm telling you, it's a Tasmanian devil, which would be a horrible caster. In fact, right now, I wish I was a Pokemon. Being a Pokemon would be so much easier to cast a game. I'd just be like, Anuki. Anuki, 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 ah, Anuki, ah, Anuki, Anuki. And stuff like that. That would be... How easy would it be to cast games? I'm sure nobody would watch me, but at least it would be easier. Literally, I would not be able to do anything else. Grenades going down on the pack, but it's right in front of the pack. Really want to get that grenade right there. That's the Nido spot. Grenades being returned, and it does way more damage to the rifleman. Good job, Grenadiers. We have some howitzer shooty, rooney, dooney, booney going down. And the Grenadiers are not retreating, and they suffer and suck a tash. <laughs> One guy gets away with his Panzer Shrek, and that's, that's good. You don't want to be dropping those Panzer Shreks, although it is in friendly territory. It looks like the motorcycle did manage to... Uh, thwart the plans of the engineers and the pioneers had to come back and capture it because motorcycles are incapable of capturing. Ugh, capturing. We will get those words out today, Nuki. We will get those words out. I have to do this cast uh, before my parents get back. And I say parents. I kind of neglect my. I don't want to call him stepdad, but he's my mum's husband. And yeah, well, let's not go there. Let's not go there. Um, capturing right in front of the med bunker, right in front of double. I was going to say casters, but they're snipers. They certainly aren't casters. They have no magical abilities whatsoever. One rifleman gets away with his Vet 1 stripe, holding onto that medal. And there comes that M4 Sherman right in front of the other med bunker. The third med bunker of the day. Are we going to see any more of those med bunkers? We have triple snipers out. We saw them earlier. Uh, not terribly effective against tanks, but packs, yeah, they're okay. All right, we've got some Panzer Shreks as well. They're going to have to work together if they want to triumph. And I, I'm not sure if I've said this before, but Panzer Shreks, I hate Panzer Shreks. They miss often, but they are deadly good when you combine them with other forms of anti-tank. Don't rely on them by themselves. If you couple them up, though, with other things, even for the Fatherland, that's great. Just something a little bit more. And there comes that deadly strafing run for blobbing. Punishment from above! Rifleman now moving out to take care of the pack to give their Sherman some free room to move and the snipers uh, they're moving back they're running at full speed not even going to cloak they are trying to get out of the range of the bars the bars firing on them the snipers are even going to take a pot shot at the rifleman come on do some damage we even have a sniper around here he's not in danger he could take a shot through the gap here uh, Volk's coming up behind here it looks like they are also taking engagements on that side of the map now some sniping now some stealthing as well. Micro from Lucky Stilette, but what is he neglecting? What is he neglecting on the other side of the map over here? Uh, absolutely nothing go oh, go on. Pepsi Max. Pepsi Max is not Pepsi Max. Pepsi Live could be capitalizing on that side of the map. You could just utilize some extra micro. And I think what happened there is General Dodo said, get the hell out of there. 
No, in fact, Pepsi. Pepsi's the one that casted that one. Uh, he retreated and casted down the howitzer shot. So no voice communications going on there from what I can see, but it's highly likely that they are. Should really be watching the explosions, by the way, but... You know, camera work and talking at the same time, it's difficult. And I know people have criticised me, and wow, this is just like... I'm not sure what movie this is. It's not The Matrix, but... It honestly looked like one of those scenes where you've just got two guys running towards each other or just running into the sunset. It's too bad there is no sunset, it's just like a lot of fog. You never get that in romantic films, that's more of a thing that happens in psychotic killer films. Where they run into the fog, holding hands, and then they all die miraculously, if you can die miraculously. Engineer so someone lost an engineer unit because of snipers, I'm guessing. Riflemen engaging the pioneers in this, like, storage church facility, whatever it's meant to be. Lucky to let though, is not going to leave it. And he pays the price for that one. The motorcycle over here is also going to have to retreat. Five kills for the motorcycle. Uh, nice job, motorcycle, on that one. He's going to be able to keep up and scout a bit more. M4 Shermans, double M4 Shermans, even getting the repairs down on that one. Uh, General Dodo moving on to the left flank, and the right flank is just... You know, not a lot happening over here. Not a lot at all. Uh, look at the long-range snipe on that one. He didn't miss, but regardless. Even tank traps down here. Tank traps. Making sure those Shermans can't enter that area. Uh, they can come down here. We have some mines, though. Exactly what I want to see. We've got some tank traps saying, No, you're not allowed to go this way. And then some mines saying, If you go that way, then you get punished for it. Uh, so, good play there. Good defensive strategies. The machine gun bunker... Machine gun, house, barn, whatever it is, even mines here as well. Still stationed here, still making sure that you cannot move through that vicinity. Another bunker going down from Stern Tiger Ost. He really likes his bunkers. Uh, Medic being escorted by all of the Volks. It's a shame we have no mines down here. Some, just some mines to say, hey Axis, you've got to get some minesweepers or you're going to take some casualties. Uh, because until those mines hit... No one's going to get a minesweeper. No one's going to be overly cautious. Uh, another strafing run on the Volks. Riflemen now moving up, but they are taking machine gun fire. Uh, this squad, though, was not suppressed, interestingly enough, even though it was caught in the fire. There they go. They do get suppressed now. Uh, over on the middle side of the map, we have the Shermans being put to good use. The pack takes a howitzer shot. Ah, oh, cataclysmic. And now the Shermans can move up and take care of this bunker. Uh, apart from that Sherman, that Sherman seems to have taken a lot of fire from the pack. Uh, so that's hiding behind the bunker. It could be taken out by a Panzerfaust, uh, which I believe that's what this Volk squad's intent to do is. And the riflemen from General Dodo, even though they've got bar upgrades, they, they don't want to move in and engage shit. They want to repair stuff. That's where all his micro is going. He's like, <laughs> gotta get to the Sherman. Go, 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 repair, repair. And meanwhile, he just neglects that he's got riflemen here, but. You know, oh well, man, I'd, I would probably do even worse of a job, so I can't really criticise. But I am a caster, so I have to criticise. I've said this before. Um, ultimately, sorry. Uh, we do have the M2-105 howitzer up. I think that was actually what was shooting on the pack and not the howitzer shot, not that activated ability. Racking up the munitions, by the way, at 300 and... 50! There we go. So what is he going to spend his munitions on? He hasn't been spending it on mines. He hasn't been spending it on mine flails, which are awesome. I want to see some mine flails. If you've got replays of mine flails chopping up some guys in a semi-balanced match, please send it. Grenades going down from Pepsi as he takes out one guy. But that for the Fatherland from Stunt Tiger Ost was activated just in the nick of time. So he managed to reduce the casualties significantly and the damage done to him. The Grenadiers returning the favour with their own grenade and Pepsi. He sees it just in time as well. He takes two casualties, but he does retreat out of the way. So he suffers less casualties than was needed, necessary. Flak going down here. Um, odd place for a flak, but luckily for him, uh, the flak will be able to fire through the terrain because that's just how Company of Heroes works. Uh, Showmans are now being deterred from the middle with that flak. Uh, so they're going to have to try and capitalize on other areas of the map where they can't be shot down, which is still a lot of room. They can still hold this side. They can move up and engage this side. It looks like we have the three snipers over here defending. Oh, they want to take out this squad. 
Oh, they're so low health, but that's not going to make a difference with the snipers there, because they're just going to take one model kill. Anyway, and I say model kill, I should call them human lives, because they are real people doing real things. This actually happened. It's a reconstruction of live events being played out by interactive players. Something along those lines, who cares? Capture the victory point quick, you need those victory points. End the game quickly so I don't have to embarrass myself further with crap commentary. Oh god. I think I was saying something about user submitted replays earlier. Um, yes I was. Uh, I am going to be going through user submitted replays of like the next two or three casts. I've got a nice lineup of user submitted replays that I've checked out. I've looked at the start and they seem pretty interesting so I'm going to be casting those. And the ones that I've not selected I'll be trying to do in one day but it won't be like multicam and it will have like the intro player title video so you'll still have that. That's pretty easy to do. But I'm just going to bust through the games as quick as possible. And basically just shout out to the, all the Aluka TV fans out there that you know just want to have the, a nice little chance to have their game shown because usually uh, casters say I'm only going to do interesting games and I think no everyone should have an entitlement to their games even if it's not overly interesting not overly pro who cares we'll go through and we'll have fun we'll make it enjoyable so we have paratroopers down here from General Dodo looks like he's calling in some extra paratroopers or an AT gun no they're double paratroopers okay dual uh, there goes the recallless rifle upgrade. I was just about to mention that. It looks like we may have had a recon run there. Uh, interesting enough, this machine gun bunker from Lucky Stilette is still hanging around. And no engagements happening just yet. Triple vet snipers. Triple, 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 triple vet. Tri triple vet. Sni triple snipers, triple vet. Fuck it, we'll do it live. There we go, I'm doing it live anyway. I'm not live, but I am not going to do it again ever no screw it must press onwards a new key and then i can have my enjoyable sleep which is going to be fantastic because you know when you're tired everything feels really smooth it's awesome i can see a lot of riflemen on the screen uh, we're just gonna have to pick that up on multicam let's see what these riflemen are going to do against this engagement it looks like they have a, a lot to really do they've got snipers out in the open they can take them out surely they can take them out the machine gun in that building has been taken out. The Grenadiers are equipped with a Panzer Trek. They're not going to be too effective. The pack is not too effective against infantry. It might get the odd model kill. Again, model kill. Screw that. It's human lives we're taking. Uh, Rifleman moving up in the center for the Fatherland. Activated grenades going down. This terrible damage to that squad. More Rifleman moving up. Just all of the Rifleman in one basket right here. And the medic, he has just managed to stealth past all the riflemen. He's like, yeah, I have super stealth skills. No one's going to be able to see me. And now his bunker's being shot, so it's probably not the best place for him to go to. And he does get killed by riflemen. Uh, Pepsi, live, takes a few seconds out of his life to make sure the medics are killed. He's taking quite significant casualties from the MP40 volts from Sturm Tiger Ost. Thank you for getting the MP40 Volkssturm Tiger. I love to see them used. There's a bar being dropped. I do believe, though, that the MP40's Volks won't be able to pick them up. Uh, whatever happened on this side of the map, it looks like we lost a stug from the paratroopers, most likely. Uh, it looks like the riflemen supported, and there were some bars being dropped. Well, obviously the bars dropped. Obviously some riflemen were killed. So think if significantly... And the Shermans are out. It looks like they didn't play a part in that battle, or at least they maybe got repaired. We also have the long barrel upgrade for the Shermans to do the increased damage to enemy armor. Which is good, because there's enemy armor on the field, so that's a wise move. Uh, so, whatever happened there, I don't know, I'm just going to have to do my brilliant deductive... Uh, <laughs> ...depending... Words splatter. There we go. That's all we need. That's all we need for commentary. It's just it doesn't matter what words there are, just as long as they're words. Uh, so good. The Volks are capturing this munitions point, uh, and that sandbag is still there, still there, and not being used. No one's been able to get like a green shield up on that just yet. Uh, the stub goes down. The Shermans are being very cautious to avoid the flak. That's neato. It looks like they are... No, the flak is trying to take down the walls of the bush. So he does get greater vision. 
The Shermans are taking out the bunker, which is a good thing to do. The recordless rifles are going to join it in the front as well. Meanwhile, over here, grenades and splatter and bodies and mass volks kills deaths. Pow! And the volks... Uh, no, it looks like the riflemen picked up that bar and the volks are trying to escape, but they don't. So, significant loss there for Sturmtiger Ost. And Lucky's Delight is picking up the pieces with his flamethrowers, and the flamethrowers are doing pretty good against some of the riflemen, but not all of the riflemen, and the medic again with his ninja skills picking up the bodies. The pioneers are not going to escape from that one. The riflemen from Pepsi Live have done really catastrophic damage there to the Axis players, and let's just see what they've got left. We've got a Neville, we've got a half track, we've got machine gun bunkers, but the bulk of the infantry from the Axis have been slaughtered. And they're going to need that for capping. They're going to need that just to stick in front of machine guns and their tanks. So they're going to have to rebuild that. They're going to have to get it back somehow, even if it's through medic bunkers. And that's what they're trying to do. Uh, but a lot of manpower has been busted into these bunkers. At least a thousand, a thousand two hundred maybe. Uh, when really they could have... Uh, honestly, I don't think they've gotten that many grenadiers back. They should really really just try and get one or two good bunker placements rather than just trying to get a hundred really shitty ones <laughs> but hey who am I to criticize oh, screw that uh, so Volks have managed to acquire themselves a bars as a, a nice trophy the machine gun from Lucky Stilette is feeling a little ambitious I'd say to take on two M4 Shermans uh, no matter I mean two guys have perished manning that machine gun uh, the third guy has managed to come to his senses and say, no, screw this, I'm going to die over here. That's a much better place to die. Uh, as for the Volks, though, they're not going to be cowardly. Cowardly Volks, no, not today. They're going to stick it to the man. Try and get rid of these Sherman. We've got Neville's landing. Neville's not exactly anti-armor. Uh, and the flak has been destroyed as well, most likely by artillery. Stug. There's no match for two Shermans which have been upgunned. Pantastrex over here. Did we miss something? I think we did. Oh, look, another 25 pounder has been taken out. Oh, crap. Yeah, we are so picking that up later. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> bunkers still down here, but that's not been upgraded to a medi bunker just yet. So I get the feeling that there might be a lack of munitions for the Axis at the moment, uh, as well as everything else. They do have some Stugs out in the field. Uh, the Stugs. Two Stugs, if micro pretty well and supported by the Panzerschrex, could well take out the Shermans. But there are these recallers rifles from General Dodo, so he's he's got more anti-armor capability. So again, there's just no chance of these Stugs winning that battle just yet, unless <clears throat> uh, the infantry is managing to take care of the recallers rifle squads and. Since we saw a lot of them get obliterated earlier, I don't think that's going to be the case. Uh, more artillery howitzer shot being brought down. We have six commander points not spent just yet. Maybe we'll see some interesting off-map combat groups displayed. Uh, where they just spam the crap out of that and people go, Oh, it's OP! Oh, it's so powerful. Look how much stuff they get. But honestly, that's... That's how allies are meant to feel. They're meant to feel like they have a lot of stuff, a lot of crap stuff, which, if you don't kill, it becomes unkillable. But we still have these three snipers around here. 17 kills, one kill, 41 kills! This sniper is the boss of the game with his far for the Fatherland activated as well, and uh, defensive artillery, whatever rocket barrage that might have been, I don't know what really that might have been. But it was not effective, I'd say. It didn't look like it took too much out and maybe even harmed the bunker. Uh, but so what? In fact, no, I think it might have been defensive or registered artillery where you can cast that on your own. Building! And it doesn't actually hit your building, so that's neat. Stugs are learning to back away from the recoilless rifles. General Dodo keeps moving up because he is not going to fear. Uh, just a couple of Stugs. They, even with the machine guns on top, who the hell cares? Uh, I can hear some nebbles coming down. I can see this plane as well. Uh, might have been a strafing run. It's a bombing run. It's a bombing run which took out some snipers. That's mean. General Dodo, that is mean. Anyway, the Stugs are uh, still backing away. We now have triple Stugs on the field from Lucky Stilette. Vet 2 for them. And 
Uh, the recoilless rifleman squads, they're backing out. Uh, they don't want to sacrifice themselves. An M10 comes in. No! M10, you are not a hero. You are not capable of killing that many stugs. Uh, what is this coming into play? It looks like it might be a Howard to shoot. Yes, it is, but the stug manages to dodge it with its tactical evasive maneuvers. No problem. Uh, so they're moving up in the middle of the field. The riflemen from Pepsi Live, they've got the points. They don't really care for holding this. Uh, you know, there's no reason to sit here and take damage from Stugs if you hold the point. You only need to worry about if infantry comes out into play. And what do we have here as an officer? Officer, that's going to be able to call in artillery. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Sherman moving up on this point. It's managed to defend its munitions uh, quite well. Another half-track comes in to try and take care of these 25-pounders. M2205, M0105, 0201, 0891, 50, 50, 50. I remember that. That's some sort of sex chat line from when I was really, really young. It's just annoying numbers that you get in your head that you can never, ever remember for some weird reason. Uh, I'm not sure if that number still works. If someone wants to try it, go ahead. I don't particularly care what the result of the phone call is, if it still even exists. So no need to comment, don't waste your time, don't worry about it. Uh, the M2105, the 25 pounder by the way is the British artillery, uh, so that's why I got slightly mixed up. <clears throat> so we might actually see some armour on armour action as soon as these stugs all get repaired, it's going to be an even battle. Three Stugs versus three Shermans. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. But someone's going to unfortunately break the code of conduct and come in with their rifleman squads and snipers and ruin the whole battle for everyone. But the battle is going down and look at the triangle formation from the Shermans. They mean bad assery. They're picking on the little Stug. The grenades, the sticky's going down on that point. Looks like we have artillery coming in too. And now the Stugs... Uh, losing their commander Stug, losing their brother Stug. Now it's just only one Stug left. No, knee Stug. Germans. And the Shermans are phasing inside of each other. Trying to be Mirage tanks. Trying to make it look like there is only one when there is actually three. He's not going to fall for that. Uh, the rifleman from Pepsi Live, he's moving around the bushes because he'll be able to throw a grenade through the bush. Uh, interestingly enough though, Stone Tiger Ost is on the ball and he knows that could happen. General Dodo saying GG! It's 32 minutes in the game, brother, it's not time for GG, GG, GG. There's still plenty of time for the Axis to get back in the game, just give them chance, that's all they need, it's just a little time, they have you right where they want you. They wanted to lose the Neville, to give you that feeling that you are assured victory and then they're gonna swipe it from your feet, no doubt I am positive. With what's on the field that they are going to do this. I mean, look look at all these pioneers out. Stun Tiger Oss, there's no way he's going to be stopped uh, at all. And so, screw that. You've clearly lost the game, Axis. Uh, I'm going to end the game now because it is pretty much the end of the game. And I will say to Pepsi Live and General Dodo, thank you for submitting in this replay. It was pretty interesting and it was short, so it's managed to save me a, a lot of time indeed. Uh, congratulations on your victory. Unfortunate for you, Sturm Tiger Ost and Lucky Stilett. You didn't win today's game, but there's always next time when you try to take over the world. Enjoy the highlights. I'm Anuki. Good night.